Knife heads, how's it going? Today I got a treat for you guys. Yes, I do. Today, I do not have a case knife. I do not have an old timer or char charade. I don't have a Chinese knife. So what kind of knives do I have today to show you guys? I wonder, you guys are probably thinking, what? Oh, and I do not have a GEC to show you, you guys today. Nope. Not at all. You guys are probably thinking, what, what do you have? You done named off all the main knife companies. Well, you ready to see it? <laughs> Thanks to J.O. for this slip. I absolutely love these slips he makes. It's got my name on it. This is one of the very first ones I've ever bought. I bought two at once, and this is one of them. The other one, you know, houses my GEC Lockback 72. I got this one out. I figured this would be a good knife for it. Let's see what it is. Look at that purple bone. Look at that shield. This knife's got fluted bolsters. It's raining outside, so if you hear that, I apologize. But look at that purple on a knife. This is a Shat Morgan jackknife. This is out of the fire, uh, file and wire series, natural gas. Let's see if I can get it focused. Right there. Titusville, PA. Right there, we got the trademark Made in USA, 1997. The main blade has got that long nail, nail pull with the swedging. God, I love that swedging on these knives. You hear that? This is a beast. This is a four inch knife. Probably longer than four inches. I'm gonna say this is a four and a half inches. It's got Shatton Morgan on the pin blade. You hear that pop? You see that jump up in the half stop? Watch. There's the pal side. It's got brass pins, brass liners. Let me shut that. Look, no gaps. That's a classy, classy knife. I like how it gets dark in the jigging right there. Real dark purple. Then it comes to the light purple on the sides. 
that's like a jack knife like a cigar knife it looks more like a cigar knife than a jack but everybody knows a jack has two blades and they both come up the same size of the same side and that's what this one does but that's nice this next one I'm going to show you guys, but that's a four and a half inch knife. I have the box, but I don't have it with me. I've been, I've been carrying this today, so I don't have a box. But look at this. That is pretty much the same size as that 110 buck uh, pro the slim pro that's pretty much the same size I wish I had it on me I, I would compare it but I don't have nothing on me that big to compare on well let's see here hold on one second I do got a GEC I guess I'll show it I'm, I'm going to compare the two if that's okay with you guys. If you all got GECs out there, you know I carry this one up pretty much all the time. This is a 72. Look at the difference. Let me get it butt to butt. Look at the difference in that. Them two knives. They're, butt to, they're butted up to each other. But look how much longer. That's a half inch longer. On that main blade. And when you get it to the secondary blade they're the same you see it right there so that's my 72 GEC to my Shatton Morgan jackknife I got one more I'm going to show you guys It's also another shat. Listen, listen to the pop on this purple one. You ready? <laughs> I love that. I love it. This next one, I got another one just like it but bigger. It's like a, this is like a, a mini doctor's knife. This is a, this is one of 600. Shat and Morgan. This one's from Ta Titusville. PA. This one was made out of uh, Queen Cutlery. It says Queen Cutlery on that blade. See, this big purple one didn't say Queen Cutlery. But this was a 1997 model. I don't think. Let me check. Yeah, no, this one just says Shat and Morgan. So this one, this little doctor's knife, it was made out of Queen Cutlery, Titusville, PA. And it's got a it's got a swedge on it, and it's got the long nail pull.
and it's got a pin blade. I've had these knives for a long time. See, now this one says Shat and Morgan on the pin blade, and on the main blade here, it says Queen Cutlery. But look at them handles right there. And if you guys like this, I got a bigger one. I got, I got, I have the bigger size of this too. I got the box of this guy right here. I got the paper to it. I ain't never carried this knife. But. Natural gas. And this one's a 2008 series and it's got Roman numerals right there. Then it's got the model right there. 0422. Is that a 6, 7, or 9, 7? That's for the doctor's knife. I should have brought the other one, the bigger size of this. But I didn't want to show you two of the same knives, just one just a tad bigger. But I really like Shat and Morgan. I don't have that many of them. Because they was, when I was buying them, they was expensive. A lot of people don't have them. And if they do, they only got like one. I wish I could get my hands on some more for a decent price or a good trade, something like that. I'd, I'd get a couple. But look, both end blades is right down Broadway. They make a great knife. Truly great. I carry this big purple one. It's like a bigger knife. But this knife here... It don't say well what size, what it is, but I'll show you. Right here in my fingers. If I put it all the way up at the main tip of it, I can get all four on it. But I got one that's probably four and a half. This is probably a three and a half inch knife four inches at the most I should start carrying one of them little tape measures but I never got around to getting one but I like that that's that worm groove if I ain't mistaken I think that's worm groove I could be wrong don't hold me to it but yeah so guys which one would you rather have this big old this big old beast here jackknife a, a cigar knife whatever you want to call it or this doctor's knife uh, let me let me see right there Right there. I like this one has S and M on it right there. That's pretty nice. Fit and finish. Excellent. Excellent. If you guys ain't had one of these Shat and Morgans, this one don't have half stops. That's just the full go mode. That's what this one is. It's doctor's knife. Full go mode. <laughs> but if you guys ain't never had a Shat and Morgan, 
You need to go look at one. Get one of your buddies that's got one, let you borrow one or something, try it out. I believe you will like them. They're just as good enough quality as a GEC. Maybe even better than a GEC. It really sucks they went out of business. But someone bought the company, and as we all know, he's the the they are making knives again. It's Cooper's knives now. That's who bought the company. They just had a drop too. I don't. I wasn't lucky enough to get one, but boy, I wanted one. I think it's called the Battle Axe. It's Cooper Knife Company, but they got one series is Battle Axe, and another one. Uh, I don't know, but they got the Shat and Morgan series. They got a couple series, but they, they make good knives. I've been trying to get one. No luck yet, but I ain't fast enough on them drops. I suck at it. But guys, that's all I got. I'm almost 17 minutes, and I just thought these knives here really needed to really look at them. Because people, these knives don't have a good name for some reason. Look at that. It don't make no sense. But I'm going to let you guys go. I'm right at 17 minutes. Y'all stay classy. You hear?